Good morning, and welcome to the Don Community High School announcements for Wednesday, September 20th. I'm Darvis Grimm, a junior in the media communications class. Our first football game of the season this past Friday against North College Hill was a time for working out the kinks. Despite a disappointing loss, there are some bright spots and important lessons learned. Here's Coach Cooper on the game. I thought it was um, a pretty good game, you know, um, from a standpoint of them learning a few things, understanding that we have to practice. We have to get to practice to make sure we know what we're doing out there. The guys did a great job. They were very resilient, um, determined to finish out the game strong. Um, we showed a lot of um, good spots on offense, um, defense as well. But, you know, we got a lot of work that we have to do. But like I said, the main thing was us being able to go in there as a team, finish as a team, work a little bit more on the passing, you know, protection um, so we can get some passing in there as well. But the running game, I think, was fairly decent. But of course, like I said, we got um, a lot of more work to do. This is my first year here, you know, and I'm hearing um, a lot of feedback that um, the city and people in the city didn't even know Don had a football team. So playing against, you know, um, teams such as Taft and, you know, North College Hill, you know, those guys that has a reputation of, you know, being quality football um, programs, I think it's very beneficial to us showing that we're playing some quality teams and, you know, put us on the map as well. Good morning, how are your morning announcements for Tuesday, September 26th? I'm Darvis Groom. This past Saturday, your fighting Panther team beat the Taft High School 16-8. Here's Coach Cooper on the game. Hello, Coach Cooper. I would like to ask you, how did the game go on Saturday? I think it went very well. Uh, we pulled out our first win. You know, the guys are very excited, um, and I think it was very good for the program. And was there any high spots to the game would you like to talk about? Guys stepping up to the plate that haven't played, you know, a few of the positions, you know, ever in their life. Um, they stepped in this game here, and they did a great job. And, you know, we look forward to, you know, keeping them there and them continuing learning those positions. You know, we'll take it game by game. Game by game. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. But what are some room for improvement for, like, the team, defense, offense? Like, what are your thoughts on that? All right, we got to definitely get more work on the, um, our offensive linemen. Um, which they did improve, but we got to continue to improve as a team. But I think that one spot there, we need the most improvement. Most improvement? Okay. What was the best thing about the game? We won. 54-7. <laughs> uh, okay. Why did the Panthers win so decisively? I think uh, we pretty much showed um, togetherness. And I think the team right now, they are... Uh, you know, proving to themselves that they can play together as a team. Cool. What is the biggest area for improvement? Biggest area, we're still working on, you know, trying to get the offensive line together. So, you know, it's coming along, but we know that's the area that we need the most improvement on. What was the North Adam team like? Well, yeah, they were, they were a challenge, but I think we came to play. You know, we were very disciplined and, you know, we showed a lot of sportsmanship. But North Adams, they were a very sound team. You know, and they were very disciplined as well, well put together, you know, so we appreciate those guys, you know, putting us on the schedule.